Hi, welcome. Here I have HP all-in-one computer. In this video, I'll be tearing it down, show you on how to remove the hard drive, remove the RAM, on how to upgrade the SSD drive, things like that. So you get to see the process of taking it apart and um, seeing what is in the computer. Let's identify the model here. If you take a look at the bottom of the computer, at the bottom right corner, this should be saying HP 22 DF0, sorry, DF10266T. Okay, so this is what how it looks like. To get to the internal part of the computer, you would have to remove the bracket in the front here. So I'm trying to find the weak point. And if you can't use your finger to pry it open, I get a little metal prying tool here. Probably go underneath and try to pry it open. So the entire thing is just pretty much like a clip on. So they do have the clip right here on the side running all across the bar and it will just clip back onto the computer so just pry it open there's no screw anything that's holding it down and the bar would just come right off once you have the bar removed the next step is to remove all the screws here and to remove the screen that's where you get into the internal part of the computer i'll be using a phillips screwdriver let's remove the screw there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen maybe there are fourteen screws let's go ahead and remove them This one right here in the middle. Alright, so once you have all the screws removed, I think there are 15 of them. Once you remove all the screws, the next step is to remove the LCD screen. Now that is a bit of a challenge because the LCD screen is clipped onto the base. So what I like to do is be very gentle, slowly lift it up and you want to work your way on the corner and start to, weigh, to work around it find a weak spot and try to lift up the screen uh, you do not want to crack or break the screen at this point so i'll be going underneath here kind of uh, push it slightly up holding it down do the same here in the middle holding it down and you want to make sure that the um, the stand so this stand the leg have to be pushed down all right so let me show it to you this is pushing up so if you tilt up this is pushing up and this is pushing it down tilt down okay you want to make sure the thing is tilt all the way down while the thing is tilting all the way down go ahead and um, try to lift the screen up
Okay, I'm just gonna push it away from you slightly. And here, you just have to uh, lift it up and it will just come right off. Okay, while you're still holding the screen, do not yank it because the wire and the cables are still attached to the LCD screen. So what you wanna do is just lifting it up like this and you can see that this black cable is to attach to the uh, LCD screen and this connector you can just lift it straight up like such and the uh, connector here for the LCD open up that little white cl clipper lift it up and then the cable can just slide slide away from it now you can remove the entire screen you can see the internal part of it. So this computer has two hard drive. One is the regular hard drive and this is the M.2 SSD drive. To remove the RAM, all you have to do is to push the two of the side clipper. The clipper goes like this to hold on to the RAM. If you push it away, and then the RAM would just pop open at 45 degree and you just slide it out to your right. And this RAM here runs on a DDR4 you can see this says PC4, PC4 4 gigabytes. That means this is a DDR4 RAM. So here we have 8 gigabytes RAM, 4 on the first slot, 4 on the second slot, that is 8 gigabytes. You can upgrade it to 16. Get one of these like 8 gigabytes RAM on the first and the second slot, that would be 16 gigabytes of RAM. Here's the hard drive. I would like to remove this hard drive here as well as the M.2. So it's kind of a little bit tricky to remove it because they have these uh, thermal pads. This thermal pad is stick onto the RAM. So you want to lift it at 45 degree angle and slide it to your left. This is the uh, 256 M.2 SSD drive. Uh, if you want to upgrade to a larger one, you can. And this is the regular hard drive. There are three screws in total, two on the top, one at the bottom. Let's see if I can slide the hard drive away from me. So I need to lift it up a little bit. Does it have to be lifted up? I wonder. Okay, so you're gonna push it. Yep, so I slide into the gap right here and then push it away. So the thing is supposed to be slide away from your body. So slide it to that direction. And you can lift it up, I think. It should be coming off right now. Okay. And then to disconnect the cable, easier to pull when I have the 
grip on the uh, SATA cable. I don't have the grip on the SATA cable, so it's hard for me to pull it. But what I'll do is I'll remove uh, the screws here. There are four screws holding down the hard drive. So let me remove that first. Remove the bracket and pull that SATA cable to remove the hard drive. Well, I do not want to have the one terabyte hard drive installed in the computer because this is a mechanical hard drive. When the mechanical hard drive goes bad or goes slow, uh, I will have this. Um, I just put it out to the right to slide it out. I will have this uh, problem with the computer running slow. So this computer here is a mixture of the M.2 as well as the mechanical hard drive. So over time, if the hard drive is slowing down, and even if you have the M.2, the computer in general works as a everything together so when you have one thing that is slow it will slow down the entire computer so my opinion is if you do not use the one terabyte remove it and maybe upgrade yourself to like a, a four terabyte as a storage if you want this is the uh, two two and a half inch ssd drive uh, you can install it just like such have the bracket to install or some kind of screw to mount it back onto the uh, computer all right uh, that's pretty much it i have for you and again um, to install the ram it's very straightforward slide it in at 45 degree angle making sure that the gap here on the ram matches the ram slot here like such and slide it in at 45 and push it down have the little clipper to clip and lock it back in thanks for watching until next time bye now